group of boys, including the 12-year-old victim, hang out on these tracks all the time to go train hopping. For maybe the first time, his friends, thinking of his injury, realized the risk. I was really upset. There's grief and disbelief. Friends say 12 year old Jasmani Palmento and other boys played a game waiting for the slow moving train under the school street bridge so they can literally hop on and hang from the side. He was train hopping and so he slipped and um, his leg got caught under. Family friends say the boy's mother has been at his side. She called and said that it was amputated. Neighbors are now determined to support the family and his recovery. I mean, it's sad that it happens to him. Like, he deserves to, like, get help. And, like, I'm trying to do, like, a fundraiser thing, you know what I mean? To get him a good leg, to get him to continue to play basketball. His dream was to be a basketball player. I know that there was just a bunch of kids horsing around and unfortunately. So that's horrible because he's a nice kid. They're all nice kids. The Pan Am train tracks, a shortcut to Pimento's favorite spots, the basketball court and Lowell's Boys and Girls Club. Pimento's injury leading to a change of heart on train hopping. Is this a regular activity? Yeah. For, what, for fun? For fun. Is it going to change behavior? Yeah. I'm definitely not doing that. The family lives just across the tracks. In a statement tonight, his mother says she appreciates the community support at this difficult time.